We may be getting closer to understanding sudden infant death syndrome, known as SIDS. It's the unexplained death of an apparently healthy baby less than a year old. CBS 2's Astrid Martinez has the details on this groundbreaking research. It happens without a whimper or even a warning. A seemingly healthy baby goes to sleep and doesn't wake up. SIDS, as the name implies, it's sudden infant death syndrome, and um, that's where no known cause is uh, responsible for you know, a child's you know, unfortunate death. New research coming out of Australia is being called a breakthrough in solving the medical mystery of SIDS. Dr. Pake Nye, a pediatric pulmonologist in Hackensack, New Jersey, explains. It's been uh, very hopeful news in the sense that we can now identify even more children who may be at risk uh, for the potential for, for SIDS, or at least like uh, having apneas when they uh, go to sleep uh, uh, at, at nighttime. The study published in the Lancet Medical Journal found that levels of an enzyme called BCHE were significantly lower in babies who later died of SIDS. They looked at a uh, blood spot, uh, like uh, these blood spots um, on, as part of their newborn screening campaign um, and compared children who had uh, who went on to die from SIDS and compared them to um, controls, they found that this enzyme level um, of butyro uh, cholinesterase was had a reduced uh, activity level compared to um, normal children. But Dr. Nye cautions more research needs to be done. We definitely have to sort of validate uh, the study and we have to do more research into it. According to the Centers for Disease Control, around 3,400 babies die from SIDS in the U.S. each year. Pediatricians advise parents to reduce the risk of SIDS by placing babies on their backs for all sleep times, avoiding loose clothing and blankets near the child's face. Don't overswaddle to avoid overheating and have the baby sleep in the parent's room, but not in the adult's bed. Doctors are hopeful the findings will help identify newborns at risk for SIDS. In Hackensack, New Jersey, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News.